So I think I'm a victim of hustle culture. If you spend any time on YouTube recently, you know that everyone's talking about side hustles. I'm a full-time doctor working in the NHS, but I do think side hustles are very important. You know, if you want to travel or if you can't work for any reason, then what do you do? So it's something I've always wanted to explore. But usually by the time you see a video like this, someone is already making thousands to millions of dollars. You know, seeing videos like that can be motivating, but sometimes it can feel a bit unrealistic for you, if you especially if you're right at the beginning and you're just starting. So I wanted to make this video sharing my four realistic side hustles that I've actually started recently and I'm just figuring it out and I'll be sharing my journey going forward. So number one is selling digital products online. You've probably heard this multiple times, you know, if you watch some of my favorite creators like Olia, he talks about it all the time, he makes quite a lot of money selling digital products online. So this is something I've recently started getting into. I've been making some Notion templates, digital planners as well for apps like Notability and GoodNotes. This one is aimed at students, so it can be an all-in-one planner. And as you can see, it's got multiple pages, different things you can use it for, different aspects of your life, habits, all these things. So I've started experimenting with them and listing them on Etsy. Some of them have actually sold a couple of times. I'm in the process of compiling all of them and adding them to my website and my blog. We'll leave the website link down below if you want to check it out. I actually surprised myself with this one because these are products that you use day to day. You never think about making one to sell to other people as well. And I actually like the creative process, you know, coming up with solutions, that sort of thing. So we move on to number two. And number two is a similar theme of selling things online by partnering up with a print company. So the most common ones being Printful, Printify, Prodigy. There's quite a few out there. So the big advantage of print on demand is that you never have to stock products or worry about shipping logistics, any of that. The print company takes care of all of that. All you have to do is to pay the production costs once your item sells. So for example, I've been designing and selling t-shirts and sweatshirts on Etsy. The barrier to enter is really low and the fact that you only pay for production costs after you've already sold an item reduces the risk that you're taking. You never know whether it's going to work out or not. As you can see from this graph in my Etsy store, uh, we haven't sold a lot of products. This shop has only been up a couple of months and we've already got some sales. It's really encouraging. It's also quite encouraging that there's a lot of people here on YouTube who have found a lot of success with print on demand and definitely this is something I'll be sticking with for a while because I do actually enjoy the design process and learning all these new skills. So now we move on to number three. So number Number three is an interesting one. It is this very YouTube channel. We've been on YouTube now for over five years. We've not really been consistent over that five year period. There have been periods of a couple of months where we'll be consistent and then we'll stop again and then we'll take a massive break from it because it was very much a hobby. Just think about the personal time investment that's gone into the YouTube channel so far because already it, it takes quite a lot of time, you know, to film these videos, edit them and post them. So we're thinking if we're investing all of that time, we might as well take it seriously. Something I've always enjoyed sharing is my journey as a doctor, my journey through medical school, tips for students who are applying to medical school or university in general, but I also want to branch out into things like, you know, personal development, which is something I'm actively doing as well. And as I learn more, I plan to share it on this channel as well. So the next side I saw idea is blogging. And I've had a website and a blog for a couple of years now. So similar to my YouTube channel, it's not something that I've really taken seriously and written a lot of blogs for. There was a couple of blogs that I did write, but I didn't do any SEO research or anything like that, which I'm changing, you know, going forward. And the plan is the blog will mirror the YouTube channel. So we have similar content, sharing tips about getting into university, getting into medical school, personal development as well. It's always interesting when you look around YouTube to see people who've done well with blogging. So Adam Enfro is one person who comes to mind who's been really successful with blogging. I'll leave him a link down below if you want to check out his YouTube channel and his blog as well. So currently I'm in the process of ramping up the number of blogs that I'm publishing, aiming for about one blog a week, which is really difficult with everything else going on. But it's something that I really do enjoy as well. So I can see myself sticking with it for a long, long time. Owning a website and a blog is really interesting because it's your little corner of the internet. You know, you're not dependent on, on someone else or another company. And as I continue to build and develop the website, I'll be adding the digital products that we were talking about earlier as well. So lastly, number five is buying stocks and shares. And this is because, you know, we all like the idea of passive income, but I don't really consider this a side hustle. It's something that I've recently started trying. And like most people, you know, you just buy the S&P 500 and you just forget about it. Unless if you're doing CFD or day trading, then perhaps it's a side hustle because you do have to invest quite a bit of time into it. So those are the four, four and a half side hustle ideas that I'm actually doing that are quite realistic. So follow along the journey going forward. I'll be giving you regular updates to see how it's all going. If you've recently started a side hustle or you're thinking of setting a side hustle share your job down below and the side hustles you're looking into thanks for watching